morning, everybody. Tiff, I'm going to let you know I was very proud to say that this morning as I was headed to the makeup room, I passed our HR person and I was wearing my mask. Oh, good for you. Because, you know, we Free have to... show sometimes it's not fun with makeup because you're worried you're going to get, you know, your makeup all over, but you got to do it. Yeah. So we have a policy just like probably most workplaces about you have to wear a mask. So if you're one of those people who's on air, the only time you can't wear your mask or it's OK for you to not wear your mask is while you're on TV. Otherwise, you got to right. have it on. Well, it's funny because I was talking to our boss about that and I was talking about pre-show and just the makeup and all that stuff. And and he's like, we should get you a shield. And I mentioned that on the show one day and a viewer wrote and said that you can get shields at Pick and Save. So oh, I'm going to come in that. next time with a shield pre-show. Those masks, you mean, that have like the, where you can see through. You know, yeah. I, I saw something interesting on Facebook about that. And what the person posted was that wearing the plastic shield obviously protects you and it's good for a safety um for safety but also then you can read people's lips and i thought about your mom when th this friend of mine mentioned that because a lot of people rely on being able to read lips to be able to understand what you're saying right and i i was actually joking with someone the other day but i'm like with all the botox people have these days you can't tell if someone's smiling because their eyebrows don't move <laughs> so it's really hard to gauge you know yeah. um you know emotions from people just by their eyes sometimes and <laughs> Truthfully, with my mom, though, yeah, I mean, she reads lips, I would say, 75% of conversations. Yeah. Because um, her hearing aids aren't always the best. And even when they are, it's still not strong enough. And so I do think it's really difficult for our aging you know, population or people with hearing issues to be able to understand people with a mask on. It's, 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 a, hard, it's a hard thing. So the shield, even though there's like a whole like headgear that yeah. goes with it, might help people. I don't know. Yeah, I agree. Interesting. Yeah. I'm glad um, to hear okay, they're today, widely available. Yeah, right. She said pick and save. So I got to stop by and check if there's one there. Um, anyway, uh, one of the things I want to share with you today is ways to ramp up your intelligence. And these are unique ways. Oh. And I thought some of them were interesting. Yeah, because some are like things you'd think of, like, you know, learning an instrument or, you know, making sure you're physically active. Those things are good for your brain. We already know that. But a couple of things, um, there's apps, which we know, and the two that they specifically mention are Lumosity and Peak. They say those are two very popular ones that help your brain and your intelligence kind of continue to grow. What is it, like you um, do puzzles or something on there? Or like yeah, word? I think okay. I, I used to have Lumosity, and I think it was like, it was brain games. Yeah, and okay. so I think they're good for people who are aging or, or just people like us who need to keep our brain in gear. It's staying sharp. Yeah, staying sharp. Um, but here's one that I thought was interesting I hadn't heard of. It makes complete sense, but they say ditch the GPS. And the reason being is oh. they found that brains of cab drivers, get this, actually grew on the job and they learned as they learned more about their city. So driving around without your GPS, learning routes, learning more about your city actually can grow your brain. Well, that's a great point. It's kids nowadays, they don't they don't understand, of course, reading maps, but they're not into directions right. and things like that because they just follow it. But it's such a good learning tool for kids, you know, especially when, with the way cities are on grids and streets count up or they count down yes. or addresses. You know, you're in the next hundred block counting. I mean, there's so yeah. many things with with directions and, and navigating. Yeah, and just then spatial awareness, all of that within the way your brain processes it. The last thing is playing chess because they said you actually use both hemispheres of your brain because you're using um, the the logic simultaneously with the creativity. Oh, chess is such a hard game, too. I give kudos to anybody who plays that one. That's a tricky one. I okay, love it. So a little bit later, hopefully I'll have time to give a few tips about storing avocados because they're such a healthy fat and people wonder, I think, about yes. the best way to do it. So I have a tip that might not surprise you, but it is really good and important. So it's our sound off today. On Facebook, we posted this question. How do you store your avocados? We want to hear about it. 